Hi and welcome to Radio Joy and Online TV. My name is Naomi Oji and this is the news update. Why on Arsenal strike gives Adamu two weeks to resolve the dangerous strike. Federal government releases new NNPC. EFCC extradites FBI wanted suspects to US. Court gives Danduje authority to borrow 10 billion naira for CCTVs. Bari issues Adamu with a two-week deadline to end the ASU strike. The four university-based unions have been on a protracted strike. And President Muhammad Bari has ordered the Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, to end the strike and report back to him in two weeks' time. Following briefings from the various government ministries, agencies and departments involved in resolving the standoff with the university unions on Tuesday, President Bari issued the decision. Federal government releases new NNPC unveiling of the new Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited by President Mama Buhari marked the official transition of the oil company from a totally state-run organization to a for-profit business limited by shares. In contrast to the past corrupt government organization, the NNPC Limited is anticipated to be run as a private energy company. At Abuja's presidential banquet hall, the unveiling took place. Meanwhile, EFCC extradites FBI wanted suspect to U.S. According to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Fatade Idowu Olamilekan, who had been on the FBI's wanted list for allegedly stealing more than $3.5 million from the country, has been extradited to the United States. The defendant was extradited on July 14, 2022, according to a statement made by the EFCC on Tuesday and posted to its official Twitter account at official EFCC. Meanwhile, court gives Ganduge authority to borrow 10 billion naira for CCTVs. The interim injunction prohibiting county governor Abdullahi Ganduge from borrowing 10 billion naira has been revoked by the Federal High Court's Kanu Division. In order to prevent the state administration from obtaining the loan, Yusuf Isiaka Rabiu, the Director General of a coalition of NGOs known as Kanu First Forum KFCC, filed the lawsuit. And that's all for news updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Radio Joint Online TV. You can also follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at Radio Joint Online TV. Till next time, I remain my humble self, Naomi Oji. And don't forget to get your PVC. Bye.